Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In the previous video, we learned how to define environment variables in different Webpack configurations. And in this video, I'll teach you about the concept of loaders and I'll show you how to load TypeScript files in Webpack. As always, I'll be using some code from GitHub as starter code and I'll link it in the description below. Let's get going. By default, Webpack only handles JavaScript files, but loaders actually allow us to import other file types. There's loaders for tons of different stuff. There's loaders for SVGs, CSS, SAS, styled components, TypeScript, a bunch of image formats like ping and JPEG, raw HTML, and even URL loaders. The purpose of a loader is to actually transform the linked resource or the imported file before handing them off to Webpack. And just like plugins, Webpack provides some loaders out of the box, while others you have to install from NPM. I'll link a few popular loaders in the description. But today, I'm going to show you how to use TypeScript loader in Webpack. So the very first thing we should do is Let's say we'll take our hey.js module and turn it into TypeScript. It's a TypeScript file now. And I don't know, let's make it a little TypeScript-y by defining a return type of void on the method. And let's try to run our build here. And we're going to see that we're going to get an error. And Webpack tells us module not found can't resolve dot slash hey in our index file now like i mentioned webpack operates on javascript files by default so it kind of assumes that this is javascript or according to this console output json or wasm things like that so the first thing we need to do is tell webpack what files to pay attention to so we're going to go over to our common configuration because we want this loader to happen in both production and development environments. And we're going to define this new property called resolve. And this just tells Webpack what files to pay attention to. And so we're going to say resolve the extensions, which is an array, TypeScript.ts and JavaScript. Dot js so perfect now we should be able to run our build again right well actually it's still failing but now it's giving us a different error it says that parsing of the module failed so it knows where hey.ts is and what it is but it, it doesn't know the contents of it it says you may need an appropriate loader to handle this file type and that's exactly what we're missing so let's go ahead and install the TypeScript loader along with TypeScript. We're going to install these as dev dependencies because this is only for build time. So we'll install TypeScript in and of itself, as well as the magic sauce, the TS loader, the TypeScript loader. This is what Webpack is going to use to transform that file before passing it on to the next step. Now, as always, when you're using TypeScript, you need a tsconfig file, but we're just going to use all the defaults. So we're going to set up a tsconfig.json file that is just an empty object. Now, we need to tell Webpack which files to run the TS loader on. So there's another configuration option called module. And in module, we're going to define some rules. So module is an object, and in here, we're going to define a set of rules. And rules are objects. So uh, a rule includes a test, which is a regular expression or regex on what file endings or file names to run these loaders on. So the way you do um, regular expressions in JavaScript is two forward slashes. and we want to run these on .ts files. But a lot of times you're going to see stuff like this. 
and this looks a little crazy, but this just says run this transformation on TypeScript, like TS files or TSX files, and make sure this is the last thing in the line, meaning this is actually like the file extension. But I think for our purposes, this will be just fine. Just know that uh, a better regular expression might uh, prevent problems in the future. Okay, so now it says on TS files, use a particular loader. So this is where you specify a loader. And this is where we're going to say on .ts files, use the TS loader. And then there's one other property that might be handy is the exclude property. It's another regex. Let's make sure not to do this on the node modules directory. So now we'll see if the build works. Again, it's transforming this TypeScript file before handing it on to Webpack. And look, the build actually works. Now, let's, let's make this fail. What if we return, this says it's supposed to return void, but what if we returned uh, just any number or string or anything? If we npm run build, we're actually gonna see this fail. And TypeScript will take over and say type number is not assignable to type void. Or if I try to return a string here, the build will fail for the same reason, a type mismatch. So that's how you load TypeScript files into Webpack using the TS loader. I suggest that you play around with other types of loaders as they're very handy for importing things like images, uh, JSON, different types of CSS files, and applying it to your project. I'll link those in the description. That's it for this video. Thank y'all.